To make my Mickey head, I used a 3.3 inch styrofoam ball. I then stuck a long wooden dowel through the middle, hot gluing around it to make it stable. To attach the ears, I used two toothpicks and two 1.5 inch styrofoam balls, also hot gluing around each ear so that they wouldn't move around. I then used adhesive spray to spray the whole head so that the black glitter would adhere. And at the end, I used some hairspray so that there wouldn't be any more glitter fallout. You want to make sure to use black acrylic paint and paint each of your styrofoam balls before attaching or gluing anything. The next step is to grab your styrofoam disc and ribbon and you're going to begin hot gluing it around little by little until you get to the end and then you're just going to cut the ribbon and optional you can hot glue um, the end of the ribbon just so that it doesn't fray. Here is the recollections brand that I used. This specific measurement fit perfect for the disc. Next you're going to grab your styrofoam plate, place it on top of the base and then poke your wooden dowel through the center and hot glue it so that it's stable. You kind of want to hold it in place because the weight of the head makes it tilt. For my centerpiece I used yellow, red, and blue tissue paper placing them on top of each other. You want to cut the tissue paper in half and then in halves again creating four sets of squares. Then you're going to grab each set of squares and cut it into fours again creating 16 sets in total. After you finish cutting your 16 sets, you want to grab a glue stick and glue the tissue paper right in the middle. You want to angle each tissue paper so that the corners poke out. You don't want to use a hot glue gun for this because when it dries, it gets too bulky. Once you're done gluing, you're going to create what looks like a flower. You're going to grab one set at a time and you're going to place your index finger in the middle, folding the tissue over your finger to create the flower. And then you're just going to grab the flower and glue it onto the styrofoam plate. Each centerpiece has eight of these flowers, so when you first cut up the tissue paper, you have enough for two centerpieces. I like to start off by placing three flowers around the wooden dowel and then working my way out. Um, but it's up to you and your preference. You do have to play around with the tissue paper and spread it so that there's no styrofoam peeking through. At the end, you're going to have something that looks like this. You want to fill up your vase with either colored gumballs like I'm going to do, or you can use crinkled tissue paper that you can find at your local dollar store. Comment below if you have any further questions, and I wish you all good luck. As a side note, these styrofoam plates come in a pack of two at the dollar store, and you can find these individual vases for a dollar each. Thank <laughs> you.